Hi everyone, and welcome to our class. My name is Lavrit Sangha, but feel free to call me Lavrit. I like to go by my first name. In this video, I will talk about my background, how our class is going to be structured, and tips I have on how to do well. So a bit about me first. I am originally from the Bay Area, from a town called Danville, which is maybe 45 minute drive away from Santa Clara. I went to college at UC Berkeley and studied math while I was there. After graduating, I went to grad school to get my master's and my PhD. Then I got into teaching full time. So I spent a year at the University of Kentucky and then I moved back to California and now I am in year six at Santa Clara. How's our class going to be structured? I'm going to use a flipped class format, which means rather than me introduce you to the topic during our whole class and you only working on homework outside of class, it's going to reverse that. So I will introduce you to the topics in videos that you'll watch before classes. There's going to be about 50 minutes worth of videos to watch before each class. And then class time will be spent for you to practice. So for you to work on homework problems and try other great practice problems that are meant to help you prepare for our quizzes. I'm doing this because overall it saves you time. Introducing content through videos saves about 45 minutes per week rather than if I spent all of class doing it. And then also it gives you more opportunities to ask questions in class and collaborate with your peers. We'll have homework due twice a week on Tuesdays and on Fridays. You'll submit it using a website called Gradescope. We'll have quizzes in class every week on Fridays. After each quiz, you can improve your score on any problem by doing corrections and taking a reassessment. That's where I will give you another problem on that topic to work out. This is really designed to give you multiple opportunities to demonstrate your learning and improve your grade. I have six tips on how to do well in our class. The first is you want to aim to get a conceptual understanding of our course topics. Most high school level math problems are designed so that you can solve them quickly. But college math problems can be a step up in difficulty because they focus more on understanding why things work. To build that skill, it's important to spend more time thinking about problems. That'll help in synthesizing the various concepts and recognizing when to apply a particular method. Second tip is to start the homework assignments early. My expectation is that you're spreading it out over five to six days a week. That'll help in better retaining the material and avoiding the situation where you have a lot of work to do all in one day. The third tip is to do corrections and reassessments each week. I'll talk more about this in class, but these are opportunities for you to improve your grade. And by doing them consistently each week, you are maximizing your grade. The fourth tip is to try homework problems on your own first. If you get stuck on something for five minutes or so, that's when I want you to use our resources for help, which I will tell you about. In particular, you should avoid the temptation to look up answers or solutions online because homework is really designed for you to practice and develop your skills. And by looking up stuff online that just does the work for you, you lose that opportunity. And it's a violation of our academic integrity policy. Tip five is to use our resources for help. We have my drop in hours, which are a space where you can come in to work on homework or prep for a quiz. Maybe work with classmates, and as questions come up, I am there to help. The Math Learning Center, or MLC, offers many tutoring services for our class, so they are an excellent resource. Piazza is a discussion forum where you can post questions, even anonymously, and other students in our class can help answer them. And you have your classmates. You'll have many opportunities to meet your peers and work with them in class, but I'd also encourage you to connect outside the classroom and form those study groups. The last tip is to maintain a growth mindset. We'll talk about this more throughout our class, but basically it means believing that you can get better at something through the work that you put in. No one is born just being good at math. It's something that we all have to work at to build our skills in, including me. You can do this. I am here and happy to help, and I want to see you do well. 